How's it going everyone, Shifty here, and just the other day I released a video covering a Warlock build where you can get your super in under 30 seconds. That build focused on Chaos Reach and Geomag Stabilizers along with several combat mods to ensure I got my super back fast. Well, that video got me thinking, can I do the same thing on a Titan? Well, the answer to that is yes. In this video I'm going to be showcasing a Titan build where you're going to throw a lot of grenades and you can get your super back in 30 seconds or less. And if you've been paying attention you may have seen it in the background footage. Before I get into the build, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, honestly this build is really fun to use so let's get right into it. The first thing I want to mention is that you can use this build on any subclass except for probably stasis. The reason being is you can't get many kills with stasis grenades. However, I highly recommend using Code of the Siege Breaker which is Bottom Tree Sunbreaker. The primary reason I recommend this is because your grenade, melee, and super kills create sunspots. And passing through a sunspot causes your grenade and melee abilities to recharge faster and your super to last longer. The key component here is that grenades recharge faster. And as you may have already guessed, grenades are important to this build so I'm going with the thermite grenade. In addition to that I'm using the armamentarium exotic chest piece. This gives me an additional grenade charge. In order to use the same combat mods that I do, you're going to need two void pieces of armor, one solar piece of armor, and then two armor pieces of any element. Now I'm going to start going over my armor mods starting with my helmet and then I'll go down the list. In my helmet I have double ashes to assets. These mods give me bonus super energy on grenade kills. Then in my combat mod slot I have stacks on stacks. This gives me an extra stack of charged with light for every stack I gain. So when I would normally gain one stack of charged with light, I'll gain two. Then in my arms, I have two of the impulse recycler mods which come from the seasonal artifact. These make it so grenade final blows grant grenade energy. Multiple copies of this mod increase the amount of energy gained which is why I put two of them in my arms. Then in my combat mod slot here I have elemental charge. This makes it so I become charged with light by picking up an elemental well. If the elemental wells element type matches my subclass, I gain two stacks of charged with light. Since I'm using stacks on stacks, if I pick up an elemental well matching my subclass type, I will gain 4 stacks of charged with light. Now normally I can only hold 2 stacks of charged with light, however there are armor mods to increase the maximum amount of stacks you can carry. That is why I slotted supercharged in my chest armor. This makes it so I can carry 2 additional stacks of charged with light. So now I can carry a total of 4 stacks of charged with light. Next up, in my legs I have Machine Gun Scavenger because I am using a machine gun as my heavy weapon. In my combat mod slot here I have Elemental Ordnance which makes it so defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. Since I'm on a solar subclass and I use a solar grenade, when I get a kill with that grenade it will generate an elemental well. Then given all my other combat mods, when I pick up that elemental well I'll gain 4 stacks of charged with light. And finally in my class item we have a way to use charges of light. The mod I have slotted here is Energy Converter. While I'm charged with light, using my grenade grants me super energy. This will consume all of my stacks of charged with light. The more stacks I'll have, the more energy I gain up to a maximum of 50% of your super energy. That means if I were at 50% or higher of my super already and I threw my grenade, I would keep my stacks of charged with light and gain no super energy. This mod only works if you're below 50% of your maximum super energy. If you don't quite see how all of these mods work together yet, I will be showing you how to use the build. Now I want to quickly go over my weapon selection. In my kinetic slot I have Hawkmoon, but this serves no real purpose. If you want to, you could add a weapon here with Demolitionist or Thresh. Then in my energy slot I do have Salvager's Salvo which has Demolitionist. This is for those times where I may not have a grenade charge back yet. I can just use Salvager's Salvo to take out a few enemies and I should have my grenade back in no time. Then in my heavy slot I do have the new Iron Banner machine gun with Thresh. Anytime that I end up using this weapon to get some kills I will gain a little bit of extra super energy. Anyway that's all there is to constructing this build, now I want to show you how to use it. So right off the bat you may have a little bit of super energy but you won't have any stacks of charged with light. The first thing you want to do is get a grenade kill to spawn an elemental well. Then make sure you pick it up to get 4 stacks of charged with light. When you do so throw your grenade to take advantage of energy converter and that should get you up to about 50% of your super energy or more. After that your goal is to get as many grenade kills as possible. Each time you do impulse recycler will give you some grenade energy back and ashes to assets will gain you some super energy. Not only that, but if you make sure you're standing in the sunspots, you'll gain your grenade energy back even faster. 
If you notice that anytime you don't have four stacks of charged with light, your goal is going to be to get a grenade kill, then pick up an elemental well to get your four stacks of charged with light. So after you've used your first super, your goal is to throw a grenade immediately afterward to gain some super energy. This will do two things. First, it's going to take advantage of energy converter with your four stacks of charged with light, and it will generate another elemental well to immediately get those four stacks back. From here, you just want to keep repeating the process, getting grenade kills, making sure you have four stacks of charged with light, and using your super whenever you have it. If you pull it off correctly, you can keep this cycle going for a long time. You can use this build in any activity, however, if there are fewer enemies, you won't be able to get your super back quite as fast. Anyway, now I'm going to show you a full run of the Devil's Lair strike using this build. In this strike, I used 6 supers in about 7.5 minutes. You have to remember also that some of that time is me actually using the super which takes away from the time that I can build supers back up. Throughout this run, I don't get a single primary weapon kill, but I do end up getting 63 grenade kills and 60 super kills. So now let's hop right into it.
just on the other side of all those depths. Prime cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devils will grow weaker. But we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they'll find ways to survive. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> 